Kirby. Cool. I have this guitar. I know it's, I'm kind of cheating. Um, but I am from Anchorage, Alaska. I'm Atna Athabaskan and Inupiaq, and so I just want to acknowledge the land we're on, Mohican, Wabanaki, and Abenaki land. Thank you. I'm going to talk about why music is a tool for me. I've used music to overcome things in my life associated with mental health, addiction, and losing people. So if these topics trigger you, I understand if you need to step out. I grew up with my mom. I watched her long-time prescription pill abuse evolve into years of a crack addiction. It ruined both our lives at the time. As a young adult, I developed an alcohol addiction. Something I knew ran through my blood. I drank morning until night. And I remember a point where I knew I didn't want to be the worst version of myself anymore. So I'd make it all day long without having a drink to reward myself with a pint of liquor that I would down just so I could go to sleep. And I remember being proud of myself because nobody had to witness it. I continued to binge drink and do anything to distract me from feeling until I got sober when I was 23. I thought all I had to do was quit drinking and all the mess that my addiction created would go away. But once I quit, it was like all of my emotions I was numbing for so long were flooding back in. And I was back to being that lonely kid who wasn't in control. I was full of resentment. I wrote songs about my mother and the things she had put me through, and they were honest, but they were full of anger. And I played these songs at shows over and over, and she, sober now, showed up and listened. It was like she was allowing me to punish her, like it was my turn. In this narrative I had been telling for so long with her as the villain, it started to feel selfish. I knew my mom was bipolar, and I watched her depression become debilitating as she struggled with sexual assault, and I only ever saw her in abusive relationships. I finally realized my mother had been through a lifetime of trauma before she put me through mine. I wrote this first song, The Neighborhood, as a tool to rewrite my mom's character. She was no longer the villain. She's a human who was hurting long before she hurt me. They'll cut this part out. <laughs> this, this part too. Sorry, it's, I'm just gonna tune it again. These are new strings. have some fun We would walk the neighborhood I'd tell you which yard I like best 
You'd say, yeah, that one looks pretty good. We used to bike around Morning till the sun went down My tires mismatch One white, one black You'd say, let's run away And never look back Little did I know You were running from something more that I didn't understand How you could sleep and sleep and sleep For days on end I was waiting around As children do Never knew what I would eat for dinner I never found out who was eating at you Until it was too late You were too far gone I couldn't take care of you anymore No, I couldn't watch you get any worse So I left you alone your own device I hoped you'd smell the roses the best I got is from when you and I used to have some fun everything that my mom went through while I was growing up, my oldest sister is going through now. It's hard for me to talk about because it's still happening. She's been missing since August. And I wish I was telling you her success story, but that's why I write. I write so that my head doesn't explode. And I talk at her through my songs and After wanting to give up and join her as if that would be easier, I wrote this song that allowed me to step away from wanting to self-destruct and stay sober. You know I'm gonna tune this again. <laughs> My biggest sister, she raised me young. Yeah, you know my mom, she sat down. Popping pills turned to pipe, skin and bone. And she not around For 18 you were there You pick me up from school Held my hand, cooked me food You let me hang out in your room You 
had that creepy smiley face poster up on your wall. Yeah, you were edgy. And you had heart. Remember teaching me how to drive. You didn't have much. You had that caprice. It was white, that old cop car looking thing. It was a decent ride. And your son, he was three, and we'd all roll around doing nothing, but having a good time. It's safe to say we were pretty close. I had your back and you had mine. We are a good mom. You didn't forget how to love. But you gotta wake up, find no times, get tough. But this is bigger than I. We all need you to stick around But you're too good at keeping secrets And acting okay Your eyes look lost And you're too far slim down And I miss you, Ray kids do too Those drugs They're taking over Trust me Cause I've been there too Let me tell you something If you're going down I'll be right behind you and I'll start with a drink and it won't take me long Yeah, I'll find you If it's good enough for you Then it's good enough for me You're my biggest sister and I can't let you leave So if you're drowning, let me know, cause I've never been much of a swimmer. And I'll crush pills, I'll bring a bottle, and I'll meet you at the bottom of the river. We'll go together, like brother, like sister. So if you're drowning, let me know, cause I've never been much of a swimmer. I'll crush pills, I'll bring a bottle, I'll meet you at the bottom of the river. We'll go together. These songs, they show the cycle of abuse and addiction, but more importantly to me, create visibility within my life and myself. I lived my first 25 years as a woman, so now as a trans man, I'm confronted with new privilege given to me when people assume I'm a cis man, as opposed to the masculine woman I was perceived as before. 
passing to me feels like I'm being rewarded for my own erasure. I wrote Erase Me to navigate my feelings about my newfound privilege. So I'll sing Erase Me. This is my opinion. And nobody tells me that I can't do it. But I got so used to pulling the shore. Tired with people trying. 
trying to erase I'm tired of people trying to erase I'm tired of people trying to erase me. But I got a voice now, and I got power. I can't stand Thank you for letting me share these songs. Music was a tool for me before I knew I needed it. Thank you.